Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Gerard Welling and Brinkhorst. This very beautiful and short game was played in Eindhoven in 1980. Welling had white pieces and he started with e4. Brinkhorst played c5. The Cecilian defends d4. c takes on d4. White to move. Knight to f3 attacking the pawn and allowing black to defend the pawn and this is what was played e5 white to move how would you continue welling played c3 the morphe commit what's wrong with knight takes on e5 what happens if white takes on e5 then nothing special he loses the knight. After check and block, queen takes knight. Back to our game. So Welling played c3. Like I said, the Morphe gambit. Sacrificing the pawn with the development. d takes on c3. Knight takes on c3. d6, bishop to c4. Black is a pawn up, but white activated three of his pieces. Black to move. H6 was played. Well, play with the black pieces wanted to play knight to f6, but then like knight to g5. Perhaps he would play then bishop to e6, and then knight takes on e6, pawn takes knight, bishop takes pawn. White stands better. Back to our game. That is why Brinkhorst played h6, preventing knight to g5, but not developing pieces. However, this move has another downside. Which one? Please pause and find the best move. Oh, white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this brilliant bishop sacrifice? Bishop takes on f7 check. Did I mention that this series is all about f7 weakness? King takes bishop. What else? White move. What did player with the white pieces have in mind when he sacrificed the bishop? Did you find the move? This is what he had in mind. Knight takes on e5 check and the pawn on d6 is pinned. King to e8. If d takes on e5, then the queen takes the queen. Back to our game. So play with the black pieces played king to e8. White to move. How would you continue? White played the move and black resigned and the move is queen to h5 check. Black resigned in view of this continuation. G6, queen takes pawn on G6, check. King to E7, queen to F7, check. Mate, sharp and short. And let's go back to move number 3. This is the position. White played knight to F3. And after E5, he played C3. The Morphe Gambit. Is this something that you can perhaps try in your own games? What do you think? Of this game. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.